And also, unlike these guys, I kept this big secret. My father was actually in the entertainment industry. He's a producer. But I, I never wanted to tell anyone that because no one believed the Mike DeLuca story happened. He really didn't know my dad was involved. And, um, and he's not that well known. He was just a producer. But anyway, so he, he knew how tough the business was and actually said to me, I think, in, in a way, so maybe you should go to law school or, or maybe you should you know, be a development person because the numbers are just against you. I mean, he knew too much in a way, and so it was the opposite of encouraging. Um, so I came out here and I started looking for development jobs, and I was temping. Um, I ended up finding, I wrote something and somebody, some, someone, again, like at these events, I think, I was lost and I handed somebody something I'd written, and I ended up with a column in Hamptons Magazine. And every week I would have to turn a story, and I just loved turning a story every week. And I thought, instead of going out for these movie jobs that I wasn't getting, um, I want to try TV. And so I wrote a couple of spec scripts and it ended up on American Dreams. And now it's been five or six years. And um, I've been on Brothers and Sisters for three years now. I'm supervising producer writer. Um, and we do everything writing scripts. I've, I've written, I think, 11 or 12 episodes of the show and then rewritten another 10. Because <laughs> when you're a producer and a writer, you know, if guest writers come in, you're sort of left to fix things. There was a girl actually who was on going on maternity leave, I swear, it was like, what, it was to swap the pregnant girl in. They said, the script isn't working at all, you fix it. Um, we deal with things like, you know, I have actors calling me all the time, and emailing even on Jewish holidays. Um, and, uh, but, it, but it's been great, and um, there's a lot of parents on the show, so I get to sort of bring my kid in, and a lot of the actors on our show have kids. Rachel Griffiths pulled me in and said, I got us a playroom. And she did. She donated an entire dressing room and turned it into a playroom. And, um, and I, I'm, if I'm not thinking of any specific questions, but, but basically, I guess the job of TV writer-producer is, you know, we're all in a writer's room. And depends. Every show has a different amount of staff, people on the staff. But, you know, we come up with stories and arc out where we think the season's going to go, especially with one hour, which is sort of soapy or serialized. Um, and then, you know, so we sort of come up with it as a core group and, and then go off and write our, our episodes and come back. And then we, um, Brothers and Sisters has such a big cast. I don't know if you guys know the show, but it's like Sally Field, Calista Flockhart, Rob Lowe. It's, I found out like the episodes are like $4.5 million an episode. It's something crazy. Um, and we shoot for eight or nine days because there's so much cast to cover. When we shoot those dinner scenes, they just take forever because you have to shoot every actor at the table. So, um... It's, it's very full time, but, but, you know, great. And again, a lot of happy accidents, I guess, that got me there. But, um, and it's great. My mom's always calling me up and saying, you're turning me into Sally Fields. <laughs> um, but it's, again, I, I stick to, like, my wheelhouse and what I know, and that sort of worked for me so far. And I guess that's it. And if anyone has, I was going to bring a clip, and Post was so busy and crazy. I will say that's because we finished, we came back after strike, we're doing 31 episodes straight through, so it's really been insane. It's crazy. <laughs> Usually you do a 24 hours episode season or 22 and you have a break, so this has been crazy, so no one could cut me a clip. So I apologize, but if anyone has questions after, so basically.